Welcome to Metaphysical Soul Speak. I'm your host, Elena Fox Starks. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh boy, do we have Earth Changes news and cool news. I don't know. This is going to be a cool day. <laughs> I hope that this recording finds you well, happy, healthy, filled with joy, light, light hearted, light in body, light in spirit, and filled with joy in your mind. <sighs> Today is my 99th episode. Tomorrow is Throwback Thursday, and it will be my 100th episode for Throwback Thursday. Um, (laughs) I can't believe it's been this many days. 14 weeks and one day. I've been doing this every single day since January 2nd. So, I don't know. Patting myself on the back a little bit, a little bit happy about that. Tomorrow, my really big advertisement comes out. I'm expecting we're going to have a lot more listeners. So I'm hoping for more audience participation and I'm excited. (laughs) Frankly, I'm really excited. I think that I love the direction that my life is headed. It's a brand new direction. And to be honest, on January 1st, I had no idea I was going to do this. On January 2nd, I was just kind of bored And I started playing around with some um, stuff in the Play Store. And I'm I'm like, you know, what are some apps? Maybe I'll find a good game or something. And I started looking through apps I had on my wish list. And I I found Anchor. And I went, oh, yeah, I wanted to do a podcast. And all of a sudden, I got a really strong message from God that day. Do a podcast. Start now. Like, now, now? (laughs) Because, you know, it's always wise to argue with God. Just kidding. It's not always wise. But God said, yeah, now, now. I'm like, tonight now. Today now. All right. Well, download and see what happens. And here it is, 99 days later. (laughs) And I'm going strong and I've got a pretty good podcast. And, oh, about 2,300 or 2,400 people have listened so far. Not a whole lot for 99 episodes, but the big ad is coming out tomorrow and that's going to go out to a lot of people, 144,000 people exactly to, in fact, so that's pretty cool. So wish me luck because I want to keep going. The more I can keep going, the more you guys will have amazing and unique content from my little podcast. (laughs) I mean, I'm, this is my passion, so I'm hoping to support myself in the next year and a half with this. So, yay. <laughs> I looked at the Schumann Resonance today, and it was not a calm day. It was not a very big day, though. In the morning, we had several peaks around 10 hertz. Not much. In the afternoon, there was one peak at 4.30 UTC time. And the peak was only 22 hertz. And that was it. But there's a magic number there, isn't it? 22. We've been getting that one lately. So, another couple crazy uh, number coincidences have come up when uh, I found out that the March report from the U.S. Geological Survey regarding Yellowstone um, Park in the state of Montana, which is above the super volcano. They uh, calculated, you know, came up with a number of all the earthquakes that happened during the month of March. And the biggest one was on March 4th, just this last month, March 4th, and it was 3.3. There's another number coincidence. 3.3. Three. <laughs> so that was it. I mean, all the other ones were between 1 and 2, roughly. But there were 127 earthquakes 
during the month of March in Yellowstone. A lot more than normal, a lot more than usual for one month. So that's something to look into. I found out the information on Shanti Universe uh, channel on YouTube. You could go ahead and check that out or just look it up on Google. I'm sure you'll find other um, evidence for this or go directly to the U.S. Geological Survey. You'll have this information in no time. (laughs) So let's see here. The other news today was three days ago, there was the third largest bolide meteor explosion event over Siberia. Moi comrades, be careful over there. Oh my God. Goipniks, please be careful where you squat. (laughs) Uh, I am so worried for all of our friends in Siberia. There's so many like huge massive meteor events going on in that part of the world the first one was on December 18th and then there's been two in the past two months so literally in like three months and one week there have been three massive bolide events I don't know I mean maybe wear a hard hat (laughs) just be careful it's coming to the wire man I told you guys last day of March was the last day of the schematic and we've now entered into this kind of phasey phasey phase area we're like stuck in the middle of all this craziness and we're in the fifth dimension but I don't believe is everyone no no one I'm asking my higher guidance no not everybody is fully anchored yet into the fifth dimension So, there's that. Uh, I have one more piece of amazing news. Um, Scientists, over 200 scientists working from around the world together, have finally been able to photograph the first black hole ever in human history to be photographed. It was on Seth MacFarlane's um, feed, which... I found really hilarious. I had no idea he would be interested in <laughs> in that. But I don't know. I mean, to me, it just looks like a donut that's on fire and very, very blurry. <laughs> I didn't say he was a good photograph, but it is the first photograph of a black hole. They have to have been super, super far away. There's like a whole documentary on how they did it, what they were able to do, blah, blah, blah. I didn't look into it. The body I'm inhabiting currently is not uh, very, uh, doesn't have the wherewithal to withstand a 30 or 40 or hour long video right now. (laughs) Still on medicine, almost done, almost done. But as you know, I'm living in the light focused on my spiritual team and I knew today was a channeling day God told me when I wrapped it up last night tonight is a channeling night and I'm like oh who are we going to channel you know a god or a goddess or uh, an angel or maybe you know someone who has passed away maybe scientists we might want to hear from scientists about this black hole picture that's pretty exciting news um, no, in fact, so I thought, well, maybe ETs, maybe we're going to hear from the council of the nine or the Arcturian council or something. No, none of that. No aliens, nothing tonight's channel. <sighs> Hold on to your hats, people. Hold on to your hats. I was blown away that this is who I'm supposed to channel tonight. Uh, apparently I just discovered this myself today. So unless other people are coming up with this exact same information that I don't know of, as far as I'm concerned so far, this is the first time on earth. This has been revealed. There are 44 of them. I'm going to channel them as a collective whole. Uh, they are the gate keepers 
of time or the timeline guardians or the time keepers. So, I don't know. After I've announced that, you probably don't want to hear any more announcements <laughs> other than what they've got to say, right? I'm blown away that this is who I'm channeling tonight. I will be doing it in real time. I have absolutely no clue what the conversation is going to hold. I don't have any questions for them. They want to just me to live stream it, not live, but you know, in live time. I'm going to tell you the preliminary stuff I learned about them first. And then I'm going to just get on into the channeling. They do not take over my body. That's not how I channel. Um, they will be in front of me, presented before me, and they will talk to me. And I will say whatever they say, pretty much. Um, they're ready to speak. <laughs> God is ready to allow them to speak to all of us. So when we come back after these messages, <laughs> oh, we're going to go on a little trip. And you know what I've been saying the last few days. I'm sure that I've been channeling Art Bell when I say, want to take a ride? Hey you, have you ever thought about having your own podcast like me? Was it even a New Year's resolution? For me, it sure was. But as I've been looking into this for months, I was daunted. There's so many questions I had. When I was trying to get this off the ground, I was wondering, how do I record the episode? How do I get it across all the platforms? How do I get my podcast on Apple podcast when I don't even have an iPhone. How do I get it onto Spotify and all the other places? How do I get people to listen? And how do I make money from my podcast? How do I edit it? Oh my God. I, all, I had all these questions and I was so confused until I discovered the simple, simple answer is anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free, and it is ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors, too, so you can get paid to podcast. All you need to do is record it. You don't have to go out and look for people to advertise on your show they help you so basically what I like about podcasting is I don't have to have a video of myself you don't know if my hair is dirty or if I'm still in my pajamas or even if I'm wearing makeup haha <laughs> and it's so easy I could do this from the comfort of my own home in my living room using this amazing app right from my cell phone so easy right so if you've always wanted to start your own podcast and make money by the way doing it please go to anchor.fm forward slash start that is anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters that are already using Anchor. Again, that's anchor.fm forward slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast and I can't wait to favorite you. Woohoo! Let's be, bro let's be broadcast podcast buddies. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay, so I just had an experience. I am connected with the timekeepers. And <laughs> I started to have a really intense pain. And I said, ooh, I'm having a lot of pain. Let me stretch for a minute. And then we'll start. And they said, do you want to no longer have this pain? And I said, 
well, yeah, let's do it. He goes, and, and, the, and the main spokesperson of the timekeeper said to me, would you like to go back in time where you had no pain or in which you took medicine to alleviate pain and had zero pain and kind of showed me a quick scene, <laughs> which I had, well, snorted a little blow <laughs> when I hurt myself really bad and couldn't walk. And that was the only thing that kept me walking for about a week until I healed and and then he gave me another choice or you could go into the future in which you no longer have a sickness in your body and you no longer have pain in your body and you are 100% healed I said well in order for me to go to the past that would be going to the third dimension because that was like over two years ago (laughs) that incident and (laughs) And in the future would be in the fifth dimension. And I said, so I prefer to go in the fifth dimension. And he said, good answer. That's the number one lesson we have for you guys tonight. The number one thing is if you want anything done, go to the future in which you're younger, thinner, better looking. I don't know, whatever you want, healthier, because when you anchor into a third dimensional memory you're going to hurt yourself now we're no longer there <laughs> oh Dorothy you and Toto have left Kansas a long time ago <laughs> well just it was like 10 days ago but it feels like it feels like a year to me <laughs> energy wise I've been going through a lot of crazy changes so if you want something you got to anchor into the future in which you have it in a place in which you have it. So I anchored and, and, and I said, so now what do I do? And they said, that's the key. Now is not what you do. The future now is what you do. (laughs) This is going to be a very interesting, possibly convoluted conversation. So I am connected with, uh, the timekeepers, the timeline guardians, gatekeepers of time, if you will. They told me to call them the Temporal Disbanders and Commanders. (laughs) They are the memory creators and the memory keepers. They're absolutely in absolute time connected to every Akash record that has ever existed for this schematic. There are 44 echoes of time. They also like to be called echoes of time. Because many of your memories are haunting, they say. Interesting. All right. Uh, They like, they kind of like that when people say, oh, over the echoes of time, because that's what they are. They're echoes. They're mere shadows. They're beings of light that you never see until you see them. They were created specifically for earth. These beings of light, they are not human and they are not angels. They have not been incarnate as humans. They are specifically for the sole purpose created by God to keep track of time and to keep time on track. This is in every dimension in every parallel universe and in every temporal possibility that exists. They say that they're here for the schematic of earth or Terra or Gaia or Pachamama or whatever you wish to call this planet. So, <laughs> without further ado, I guess I'm going to just let them I'm going to close my eyes, get down a little bit deeper into a meditative state. And we're going to see what happens. And they're the gatekeepers of time. They need to know that (laughs) this, this thing's going to shut off roughly. Well, a little bit after 55 minutes. (laughs) So they said, Oh yeah, we'll be done. We'll be done in time. Okay, good. (laughs) Ooh, I'm already getting hot. Every time I channel, guys, boy, my, it's like my body just, whew, I'm on fire. All right. (sighs) 
They said, first, remember to anchor into the future now in which you no longer have pain. Good, good show. Thank you. <sighs> Ooh, I'm hot. I'm going to have to... Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to change... I'm going to change clothes. I'm getting too hot. I can't... I'm just wearing a t-shirt. i got to change into a tank top. It's, like, too much. I'll be right back. Okay, I am... <laughs> in my tank top and ready to go. Okay. Echoes of time. You may speak through me or, well, you know, I will channel what you talk to me, what you tell me. We are aware of all your distant memories and all the memories of your distant future. We are at once the past and the present and the future. A misnomer was had on the third dimension in which you believed you only had the present time, but you always had all of time. You are a multidimensional being and time is a multidimensional thing. Whether you traverse your world clockwise or counterclockwise, Counterclockwise, like a clown. <laughs> hey, Yoka. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Whew. Hope I can continue this conversation with actual words. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. One more time. <laughs> time. Oh, this is going to be super fun. <laughs> Whether you traverse this planet and world dimension, multiverse, clockwise or counterclockwise, makes no difference to us. We are always keeping track. We all we know all that you have, all that you need and all that you lack. We are the stars in the bright night sky that keep you on track and we know that you are stars yourself shining bright even though you don't have the end in sight time is a tunnel it's said to be true but there's so so much more to time than you knew (sighs) are we going to continue to rhyme guys (laughs) Oh, God. They're, like, kind of shaking their head. They're, like, nodding their head. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, they said it won't be the whole time <laughs> of the interview, but okay. All right, you guys were the memory creators and the memory keepers. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Memories cannot, will not, and have never existed without The adjunct of time, the conjunct of time is intricately a part of anything being kept intact in what you call memory. It's so much more than what you believe it is. It's not a part of your brain. The Wernicke's area, it's not part of that. It's temporarily accessed by that, but all memories... Of all timelines, all dimensions, all potentials and possibilities are kept in what is called the Akashic Record. If it wasn't for us, this wouldn't exist and you would not be able to recall anything. We are the ripples and waves that run through your mind when you're trying to find something. We are the hauntings and echoes of time of your past. When there's something you have to remember, something to let go of, or something to grasp onto, such as a memory of love, or a connection to somebody who you love very much who's passed away. We are the shadows in in grace the shadows in place, the shadows in your space. We are everything that you can't see, and yet we bind your time. We bind your lines. We bind your mind to that which you call experience. 
we can create a bubble in time in which time does not exist and you can live a whole world a whole lifetime in a matter of seconds and then the bubble pops and you may or may not remember it this is called a bubble world this can happen this has happened to me yes indeed they're saying yes indeed this happened to me I'm like whoa I thought I had a couple bubble worlds but I couldn't quite remember time is in your memory memory memories sorry time is in your memory memories are in your time oh yeah okay that makes sense sure welcome to the world of tesseracts and understanding time in a much different way it will be expanded coming soon <laughs> in time it will be expanded you are going to understand the multidimensionality of your very soul it's like up until now you've been living on a flat piece of paper with complex and convoluted designs but now those designs are going to bounce off the page and come to life in ways that you never expected Okay, now they're showing me. I told you guys a few weeks ago, I can't remember what episode about how Oh yeah, no, it was when things pop in and out of time. <laughs> they just boop pop in, boop pop out. Uh, I talked to you guys about the maple syrup story <laughs> where I had guests over and I made breakfast and opened the cupboard and the maple syrup I bought was not there. I shut the cupboard and I imagined it was there and I opened the cupboard and it was there. So they're they're referring me to that specific incident incident. Okay, now they're saying that actually the whole episode they loved that episode. Um I also talked about how my husband was downstairs working on something and the garage dropped his wrench and it disappeared and then it came upstairs. So now they're going to explain that. Ooh, I'm so happy you're going to explain this. Woo. Okay, because I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> did I do I did I live in a portal in this time or in that at that time or what? No, you did not. We were showing you a glimpse and a glimmer into how time functions. How every second goes second to second in a all fluid motion, and you expect it, but all right. Now they're mentioning digital and analog, so hold on. Everybody expects time to move forward in a digital fashion. Dot, 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 dot. Like the timepiece on 60 minutes. Just like that. That's what they're showing me. But in reality, time is fluid and analog. And in the higher dimensions, it's like liquid. Time is like a liquid light. Like the liquid light crystals that were injected into my brain, they're telling me, like the, the rainbow liquid crystals. Like the rainbows you've been seeing in the sky. That's right. I mean, I saw five in the past week. Five rainbows past week. <clears throat> So, were you guys sending me the messages? No, we were not. That was from the one will, but a rainbow is there and then it's not there, but that doesn't mean that it's not there forever. Oh. Because there's everything is recorded not just from your memory but the memory of the earth, the spirit, mind and heart of the planet also. You can access your own akash, you can access her akash. You can access access anyone's akash from your past lives or your future lives. This is how you've been able to past life regress people and future life progress people. Oh yeah, I did that. Okay. I I did that. I was my husband future life progressed me. All right, guys, that's nothing I've ever told any of my people yet. <laughs> Haven't mentioned that on the podcast yet, so 
that's okay. You will <laughs> in time. They, they make a lot of time humor, time jokes. Makes the time pass faster. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. That's so funny that we have so much colloquialisms and so many sayings in regards to time. You're pointing these out to me. <laughs> A stitch in time saves nine. <laughs> uh, they're laughing about it. They're like, yeah, it's absolutely true. So shall I look to you as mm, like a council of elders? We are timeless. Don't call us elder, they say. Hmm. Sounds like something I'd say. <laughs> they say, yeah, we do access some of your some of your references with your, using your own mind. That's how usually channeling works. So... Everyone has a lens and sometimes the lens is dirty and sometimes the lens is clean and sometimes it's cracked and schizophrenic. But in your case, that's not the case. Thank you guys. <laughs> I wasn't worried, but good to know that. All right. <clears throat> so what can you tell everybody listening about time and what are we coming up for our future and our ascension What and all that? All the timelines are collapsing. If they have not collapsed for you yet, it is going to come down to seven timelines for you. You will pick the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the tip of the top. The top timelines, the seven will collapse to four, that shall collapse to three, and the highest timeline for everyone involved is the timeline that will be, but everyone has their own timeline? Yes, everyone has their own. They have to pick their own, their best one, the one that reaches Kether, the crown. Nice, Kether, yeah. We did talk about that in the Kab- in the Kabbalah one. We know, yes, we know. We know everything about you. We know everything about every one of you. And he's, and they're talking to me about like the listeners, everyone, all of you guys. So after the timelines collapse, do they continue to exist? Yes, but only in the past. Think of it as like a comet with a lot of tails and the one that emerges and the shoots fastest through is the one in the front, the biggest, brightest section where everything else is like tails going through. And that's what's going to be like now. Okay. Now I was told that I could collapse timelines. Yes, that is your privilege as the angel of death, but Boy, I'm not comfortable even saying that out loud, actually. (laughs) The Angel of Death episode was pretty wild for me, to be honest. Um, I just follow what God tells me to say, though. Or who God tells me to talk to, so. Uh, There aren't many timeline collapsers on the planet. But as every individual is picking the timelines that they wish to keep... all the good and positive memories are merged onto that timeline. And that's why sometimes you'll have a conflicting memory about something. Sometimes you'll remember something happening in the fall when it happened in the spring. Also the same exact thing or something similar. So you have like, you know, you might remember you wearing a blue shirt, but then you remember, Oh no, I was wearing the red shirt that day. But then now you're going to have two, two memories in one. Ah, we're getting to the Mandela effect, aren't we? Oh, I see where this is going. This is getting exciting and interesting. (laughs) Even more so. (laughs) Yes, the illustrious Mandela effect. You're going to see it more and more. And then as you get deeper into the convoluted and in your colloquialism crazy nature of the fifth dimension, uh... It's almost going to be a thing that's passe because you're going to start to understand it on a deep personal level. 
why you have so many memories surrounding the same event. And you're going to start to realize that you are so much more than a human bowing down to the will of a greater supreme being. (laughs) Uh, You are so much more. Okay, I had to re-anchor, so I had to just pause for a minute and re-anchor into the future now, in which I have no pain. Okay, so the Mandela effect is going to become passe for us, you say? Yes, it's almost like you're going to be uh, aware that you're living simultaneously in a cube and a sphere they're both we would like to say third dimensional but that's not good enough this is fifth dimensional and beyond seventh dimensional for some of you ninth for others possibly 18th in time for others and you know actually I wanted to ask you guys about something because (laughs) I have a friend who says he studied time his whole life he did a lot of mushrooms. He did a lot of things. He worked with magnets and electromagnetism and just trying so hard to understand the nature of time. And he, and he came to the conclusion that it does exist in every dimension, yet it, it goes maybe at a different rate in different dimensions. And he said, you could try to get over time and get past time and get through time and not live and live outside of time and beyond time. But time is always going to just, you are the bitch of time. You're always going to be stuck inside of time. I wanted to ask you guys about that. <laughs> what do you say? What what would you tell my friend, even though I'm not going to tell him your answer unless he listens to this episode, but <laughs> I lost touch with him, unfortunately. But yes, it's true. From the single point of the beginning of the schematic from the no thing is where there is no time. The center point heart of God, there is no time. And simultaneously, all time surrounds and circulates around him. Okay, now I'm seeing a a black hole, guys. So... You're showing me a nothing, a black hole with a bunch of swirly stuff around it. Is that what God is? Is God a black hole? Not quite, but as such, yes, because God is everything. (sighs) Great. Yeah. I was hoping not to get frustrated during this interview, guys. (laughs) It was the best and brightest idea or the most intense powerful imagery we could conjure up at the moment for you to look at to understand as things swirled as the dust swirled and created planets all of it went around God God was the eye of the hurricane the eye of it all From where God sits, time stands still. Okay, my son was making bacon and having so much fun with it that he um, started to sing pretty loud in, I think, Italian. (laughs) And then he's talking in Russian. I don't know if you can hear. He gets really happy sometimes. (laughs) I'm like, I think we can hear you on the recording. So I don't know. All right. Coming back, coming back into this. All right. All right, guys, we were uh, talking about how time stands still where God is, but I want to go a little bit back before (laughs) where you were talking about the Mandela effect. Is there anything else that we forgot or need to understand about the Mandela effect? <laughs> the Mandela effect will not affect you any longer after 
you've gone up a couple more rungs in the fifth dimension and anchor yourself there. And the way to get you there faster is to focus on the future now, pull it into your being as you've done the rainbow and the sun recently. Yes, you guys, I think I did talk about it yesterday and maybe the day before that uh, God told me to pull in the energy of the rainbow right through my heart chakra and allow my heart chakra to distribute it. Your heart chakra is a brain. There's a brain in there, well, inside your heart and in your gut and in your head. Uh, Scientists have found uh, three brains in our bodies, which I may go over you know, in the future if it's necessary, but right now, um, just focus on, you could pull stuff, energy of stuff into your heart. And when you do that, that's what you absorb. That's what you become. They're saying. So when you do that with time, so time is like, it's like light. No, no. Oh God. No. Okay. Oh, this is weird, guys. They're saying time is beyond light. It is. I'm like, I don't have the scientific mind for this, guys. And this is like getting really trippy and wild and like an acid trip. And I'm not even on acid. And they said, no, no, don't worry. Go to future in which you do understand this stuff completely. Anchor in that now. Okay, so this is something that they're telling me to tell you also. Simultaneously, they're telling me, you guys have to learn how to anchor in the now, the future now, because all time exists now. (gasps) Oh, this is the way in which you are gods. Whoa, whoa. Okay, this is the way in which you are gods. Can you guys give me the energy of this? So when people hear this, they are going to be sparked and their minds are going to function in a way in which they are getting this on multiple layers and levels. Ha <laughs> ha such. Yes. Good, 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 good. Want to do that. Oh, we, we want to do that. Cause not only am I giving you physical verbal information, guys, I'm always giving you energy. I'm always giving you love, light information, packets of light that will help you unpack your best self and heal things you don't want anymore. I'm always doing that. So this is what they're telling me. I just hope it makes sense on the other end because I'm going deeper into trance now. All right, guys. So... You are a reflection of the one will. You're like a mirror to the divine. You are like a... You're floating in the space between the lake and the sky. You're floating above the reflection that's nigh. The poetry, lyric, musings of today will bring greater changes for your positive future underway. This is why we are talking in this way today. Not much for rhyme there. Sorry, guys. They're giving me a lyrical rhyming because we want you to have a feel for our motion, a feel for the emotion and the fluidity of our notions. We want you to understand So please reach out and take our hands. We will show you the universe, which is everywhere at once and nowhere at all. And all of it is inside of you when you hear the call. This is powerful information and packets of light. It's coming to you every day through the sun and at night. This sounds like a bad rap. <laughs> I'm like trying to channel it as fast as they give it. And then it's like, it gets overwhelming. I'm like, Oh, this is a bad rap. Okay. <laughs> you have to learn to accept all that exists and you have to understand that you are the all you have the universe in the palm of your hands 
or balled up in your fists. The power is here. The power is near. You've always had it inside of you, my dear. We are the shamans of time. Showing you what's always been yours and what's always been mine. This is how in this universe we flow and exist. This is what we'll show you if you please do not resist. We will open your world of your mind from inside. There's no reason to run and from nothing more to hide. We no longer need to obscure for we are at your side. Allow inside you the tesseracts of time to reside. It's okay, we're going to end the rhyme now, but that has a lot of packets of light that you need to unpack information. Now, you guys were saying that time and, and light are two different things. Explain in a way that I can explain to my listeners, okay? They're showing me guys like... I mean, like a fifth dimensional version of the flower of life. Go look up the flower of life. They're saying the Sri Yantra and all the mantras were more like for the third dimension. But when you get up into the fifth, it's just a bunch of circles. Everything is circles within circles, spheres within spheres. And they said, have you ever heard the, the words, uh, the music of the spheres that's coming from the fifth dimension and always has sometimes reaching your ears. Oh God. Now we're rhyming again. All right. All right. I'm here. I'm with you guys. You've been dancing on the balancing tightrope of time. <laughs> you're wondering, you're wondering. about distance and time but but tell me more okay you exist in all places at once you are everywhere at once you can understand every angle of a situation every angle of each creation you're going to understand from the top and the bottom to the left and the right to the north and the south and the east in the West, but you're going to understand it from every angle because that's the best. When you're in the fifth dimension, you'll be reaching for the seventh. You'll be reaching for the heavens. That's where you exist. That's who you are. You're a reflection of God. <sighs> my, bo- my bones inside my body are starting to vibrate. It's super high rate right now, guys. <laughs> I was this image that like for me I'm still talking and I can understand and, and you guys can understand me but really on the recording it's just like shh like static <laughs> I don't know I just feel really trippy right now alright guys tell me more tell us more you're going to be able to see every angle of a problem you can slow down or speed up time You could go to the past and the future with your mind. Consciousness, conscious time travel will exist. Physical time travel, you should not resist. A stitch in time saves nine, but the travel in time comes in nine. Years, nine years? They're saying nine years, okay. So like that time traveler said, yeah, yeah, sounds like yeah. You know, I'm wondering now if that I'm skeptical about that part. I'm thinking maybe it's just my subconscious mind. No, they said he's real. 
his there's no accident his name was Noah and Noah he built the ark and then the flood came and then the rainbows appeared we've been you know well god has been sending me rainbows right he's like yeah we've been sending you signals through the rainbows though all right all right so noah is real in time 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 you guys are right and now rainbows go in an ark does that have anything to do with time yes there's an ark of time At the very, very end of the schematic, time will cease to exist again. Now they're showing me like a very, very tiny ball, a very dense and heavy ball, like as if everything's been sucked up into a black hole. And it's like a marble put in the pocket of God. Oh my God, that's like so cool. It's so trippy. (laughs) I hope you guys are able to follow this because I know this is like jumping around. (laughs) <laughs> is that a metaphor yes of course it was okay good because that's how it feels but you guys were all here to experience all the good and bad and indifferentness of what that dimension had in store for you but now that the potential has been explored and it has been gifted unto the one will as you go up as a collective whole to this next dimension, the experience of time changes once more. You will no longer feel your feet on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're floating. I, I just feel like we're floating. We're floating around in space. They said yes, and... You're floating around in space and you can change everything, including your face. (laughs) The ravages of time from the lower dimension was just from the human's mind and invention. As you move forward with glorious ease, (laughs) all the years will be washed away and dropped past your knees. The beauty and joy and light on your countenance will be shown and flooded with light on every continent as everyone on earth will shall be happy once more and they will understand that they are the God they adored. The light in your eyes will shine forth so bright when you understand there really was no such thing as night. Even from the tippy top part of your head, you will understand there never was anything to dread. It was a self-conceived nightmare of late to understand all what God has on his plate. He had the knowledge, yet not the experience. And you gave this all to him. This was your gift to the I am presence. And once you begin to experience as one, you will understand that the schematic now is done. There shall be no tears rolling down your face because all of this put you in a state of grace. Your beauty and joy will flood and abound around thee. And you'll understand that I was one with you and you were one with me. That's what they're saying, not me. Them, they're saying me. Okay. Now that you've achieved a special place of peace and harmony, you're going to understand 
the beauty of your bounty. Everything that you set forth out to do will come back thousandfold in bounty sent to you. Bouquets of flowers in various forms will come into your world uh, because of because you've passed the passing storms. Okay. (laughs) Oh boy. This is a really deep one. Yes. Profoundly deep. We shall go because it is the you inside the God that you should know. This is no longer a time to play games. This is a time to understand that it is you who reigns. And in this knowledge that you be king, you shall be humble still. You have the gentle heart of the kindest queen as you focus and reflect the energy of the one will. That really, guys, that humbles me. I don't know about you. It was really intense. Okay, let's see if they have any more to say. Do you have any advice for us? Yes. Ride the tesseracts of time in this way. Imagine your best, most wonderful dream life and dream it in the day. Bring yourself in time in your mind to your most, most glorious day and anchor yourself in the future now because all of time to your will will bow. This is your gift and it was not earned lightly. You've been through a lot and you deserve it rightly. This is your glories in heaven that you were promised. getting like a lot of imagery here so I'm trying to trying to filter it out or trying to put it together in a way I can make sense of it so this was what you were promised um so yeah that was it that was it I just I guess I said it wrong (laughs) I thought there was another line coming at the end they're like nope that was it (laughs) so can anyone contact you guys yes they may Whatever they wish to call us, we we prefer the 44 Echoes of Time. They say, they say it sounds like a glorious jazz band. <laughs> it does. They said, but you could call us the timekeepers, the gatekeepers. It doesn't matter. We were not born with egos. We were just born with time. Okay, I, want to qu- I have a question to ask. Uh, this is a, a good question. Uh, tachyons tachyons those are the particles and elements of time that exist uh, in Star Trek universe which is a fictional world but I want to ask about tachyons are tachyons real do they exist is that how we're going to speed up time or can you give us any secrets here that the whole world can know right now or at least my 20 or so listeners (laughs) 20 or 30 listeners Maybe tomorrow I'll have 10,000. I don't know. (laughs) So they're like, we're hoping you have 11,000 tomorrow. I'm like, yes, me too. Thank you. Okay. So what can you tell us about tachyons? Do they exist? (sighs) 
I'm not getting an answer. They're like kind of saying, well, it exists in the mind. Okay. Okay. Let me ask this in a different way then. Are there any thing that, is there anything that a scientist can hold on to and understand that this specific thing is time? We look at a particle of light, which we can look at at CERN in the laboratory We know it's both a particle and a wave. What is time? Is time a particle? Is it a wave? Is it something beyond? It's nothing we can put into words that your mind will currently understand. So, what is it, packets? But time does come in packets. And it comes in like a liquid light. They're just saying the liquid light again. So when we, when our time machines, are we going to have like liquid light? Not yet. Not up front. Not now. Not yet. They're like saying, like kind of not, they're showing me not yes, but not now. Not the next step. Oh. What? They're showing me that like eventually... Oh, like a thousand years from now. It's not going to help us this moment, but like a thousand years from now, we're going to have like a time machine on a keychain. <laughs> we'll just have everyone have it. It'll be a household. Kids will play with it. Oh my God. And then they tell me a joke. Yeah. Where were you, son? I was in the 1940s. <laughs> well, you, you, I'm glad you came back in time for time for dinner. <laughs> this is like a joke I would make, but they made it. So that was cool. They're saying, yeah, like in a thousand years, but then once you get to a certain point, if you can vibe yourself high enough, you're no longer a slave to the timelines anymore, right? Okay. Once all timelines merge and humanity as a collective whole has made its its quantum leap forward and upward, there's going to be a lot more playing around in time. Oh, well, he will live a thousand years then. Some of you will, li- will live 10,000 years, provided you do the spiritual work and keep your vibe high, 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 high. Eventually, you'll live outside of time and you'll never die. Great, back to the rhymes again. <laughs> uh, So, yeah, there was another secret of the rainbows, wasn't there? Okay, they're telling me, they're showing me. Oh, and now my left ear is just ringing so loud. All right. Trying to adjust. They're like, please adjust to this now. Oh, they're making my ear ring so much. Oh, oh, my left ear. Okay. The left is a reflection of the right. The right is a reflection of the left. The up and the down reflections of each other. That's a secret, but you got to look deeper into it to understand it. And now they're showing me that when you have a packet of time, it's like a sphere, a living liquid sphere, and you could hop inside it. Yes. Hop inside a living liquid sphere, sphere. And that's the secret of the rainbow. If you go into like the pink one. You could go into a personal spherical space space, <laughs> and see all the moments of love throughout all of your lifetimes, past, present, and future, if you focus on the pink part of the rainbow. They said it's just on the outside of the section of red, but once you go up into the fifth dimension, you're going to see this extra color. It's like a pink like a neon fluorescent ultraviolet, like a pink. I've seen this color, I think. Yeah, they say I have. And then there's one that's kind of blue. What does that one do? They said that one's for all your intellectual pursuits, past, present, and future. This is for time consciousness travel. So if you could look at that color and focus on that color and you hop inside a color of sphere of that. Now inside the sphere, is it solid color? No, it is an empty space. And it's an observatory. It's a point of observing past, present, future. Now, what if I wanted to go in a bigger sphere? Is there a bigger sphere for collective whole? Oh, you're not ready for that one, they said. (laughs) Yeah, no, probably not. And then a bigger yet one for God? Yeah, you're definitely not ready for that. They, They said don't even touch that one. 
Yeah, okay, let's just go to the personal ones. We're all interested in personal stuff still, so... You can hop into the sphere of your lover, your loved one, your soulmates, the twin flame. You know, what if, uh, well, yeah, a lot of people on, on the planet right now aren't incarnate with their twin. Oh, no matter. You could still hop into theirs. What's purple? All your spiritual moments you walked with God. What's green? All your greatest moments and glorious minutes. The, the emerald flash of light that occurred when you healed all the times you've healed emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. Uh, What about yellow? Intellectual pursuits that were inspired by God. Is there an orange? They're like, yeah, it's kind of more like all your angry moments, but there's more to the orange, right? Yeah, but it's not as important. It's a smaller band of light from where we sit. I thought blue was the shortest. Yes, and indigo, by the way, indigo exists. But that's for you to explore. That has to do with space exploration. They're showing me outer space, universal truths from outer space. Ah, spiritual truths of every planet exist in the indigo sphere. Oh, that's really good news to know. That's so good. So we can hop in time travel among all your lifetimes in other planets. Does everyone have that? Not everyone has that. So. All right. If your space brothers allow it, you can hop into their own, but you have to have a connection as a star seed. Yeah. They're saying as a star seed, but you can do that. Very interesting. My God, that's very interesting. Okay. So what about just pure white light? That's how you experience the stillness of God within. Imagine a white light all around your body throughout in like permeating your whole being and gets rid of all the negativity, clearing out, clearing out, clearing out. It's what they're showing me. And you can breathe in a rainbow and then that will reinforce the outer edges of a white light sphere around your body. You're talking kind of like physically. Yeah. They said, yes, it's like it ends up physical. And then you push out all of the colors of the light and all the light to the edges. And you are sitting in the middle, like floating. And as you're floating inside this bubble, surrounded by rainbow swirly colors and then and then a layer of white that's how you can contemplate the mind of God and you can get a break from time can we go back in time like even in this dimension we go back like a day or something oh yeah absolutely your soul will find its way back it will always find its way back but sometimes you might want to relive a moment This is how you recall a memory now. If you want to be very complex about it. (laughs) Because going through your brain is limited. You don't always want to go through your brain. Sometimes you're going to want to go through the one will or the reflection of the one will within you. Ooh, ooh, it feels like someone's grabbing my right lower earlobe right now. (sighs) Ooh, oh, it's so strange. Yeah, sometimes we'll grab you like this and we'll bring you to a time. Oh, they're showing me the Christmas Carol story. So like the angel of the past, present, and future. Ah, they're like, that was us. That's something that we actually did do. The story is false. It's a fake story, but that is something we have done. And the author knew about it, but subconsciously, and he wrote about it. If we touch your earlobe, or your hand or your foot but you just showed me like sprinkling stardust we could sprinkle stardust before your feet and as you walk on it you will hop to a new timeline a new dimension and understand more and more about time they're saying okay we're out of time they're saying work with us love us be with us We are your friends. We love you. We are an intricate part of who you are. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, brothers and sisters, to be 
with us in this journey of time. All right. Well, you know what, guys? Uh, that's all time we have, <laughs> as they said. Open my eyes, 55 minutes and 33 seconds. So signing off now <laughs> with peace and joy and timelines, the highest possible timeline for our souls, which is the highest vibes of the holy fifth dimension. Until next time. Metaphysical Soul Speak is run on sponsors and listener support. This means listeners like you. If you are so inclined to support my efforts and my little podcast, please visit me at anchor.fm forward slash metaphysical and pledge an amount of your choosing today. Thank you.